Yo, what's up? What's up, family? Now, look, I got um, a Zoom class coming real soon. Now, I got different Zoom classes, right? So, one Zoom class, I'm going to schedule a date that is going to teach you how to become a non-citizen national. That's going to be the Zoom that we're going to be on online for three hours. And I'm going to break it down. I'm going to make sure y'all bring y'all DS-11 form application. And I'm doing a whole damn thing with you guys. Line upon line, word upon word. Now, that's just strictly for changing your status. The second one, right? We're going to have it for the EIN consultations. So nobody has to schedule it through me anymore. You don't have to do a one-on-one -on -one consultation for the EIN. Because these are processes, right? These are not personal issues. So personal issues would be like the one-on-one -on -one consultation. Like say if your family member in jail for stabbing somebody or whatever the case might be. Then we probably just set up a consultation. But anytime you want to deal with status change, EIN process, or even learning how to live in the private, that can be taught to you in a whole group setting. Because it don't matter how many of you guys that's behind, I can touch bases on that and I can reach a lot of people in the group so y'all can be able to ask y'all questions simultaneously. Even if you forget something, somebody else might remember it. So I'm going to have different type of uh, Zooms. So every Zoom going to be different. So I'm like, oh, who want to change their status this week? Zoom is on Friday. Make sure you show up. Or if somebody want to Zoom for EIN, I might say the EIN Zoom probably the next day. Or if somebody won't live in the private, boom, even entrepreneur classes, how can I use my credit? How, what can I use it on? You feel me? Like people got questions like this, you know, I'm gonna put y'all on game with a whole lot of stuff. And, and, and I'm gonna tell y'all something, right? Um, I don't necessarily just talk to you guys. The whole goal is to get the shit done. The thing about it is so many people that's been backtracked on the information that they can't even move forward because I, I really don't think that a lot of people grasp the whole concept. I'm really trying to show y'all how to get money. And the way you get money is just strictly through your credit, nothing else. If you want it the easy way. Now, you can go online and follow these people who are on YouTube talking about, oh, if you want to make a million dollars, I have one remedy that'll work. And you feel me? Like, and people fuck over thousands of dollars. The whole time you can buy real estate, you can take $100,000 from the equity. The whole time you can get four cars with your credit cards from the dealership with a 700 credit score and they'll give it to you. That'd be your down payment. You go ahead and get this shit. You feel, it's that simple to like really get passive income because I don't know all of y'all financial goals, but if you can make $10,000 a month, that's perfect. That's over six figures. The average person don't even make over $40,000 a year. The average person make under $40,000 a year. So if you can make over $120,000 a year, you in good hands, right? Now, as far as status change, right? Now, people who go through this whole status change process, you don't need to authenticate your birth certificate to get your status change. You don't need to, um, well, what, the, what else they be saying? Putting affidavits and shit. That shit don't get your status change. Status change has everything to do with jurisdiction. Are you operating in their jurisdiction? If so, then yes, they can subject you into the jurisdiction. And I'm going to break it down. How do they get jurisdiction? Buying a car doesn't get them jurisdiction. And people were so curious about it. Using your EIN number does not give them jurisdiction. What gives them jurisdiction in a state as a contractual basis? And we talked about that. So that's all what we're going to be talking about during the Zoom calls. Even we're going to have entrepreneurship classes. Because I know a lot, I, it's a lot of you guys with perfect credit. And you guys tell me all of the things that you can get, your credit cards. And I'm like, what the fuck? You, you work where? Huh? I just don't understand it. Because y'all got all the power in the world to leverage your credit, but you just seem don't like y'all don't know. But it's okay. Even if y'all don't know, I want to be the one that help y'all show y'all how to do it so y'all can start getting it on, getting on, on the road. I only had one person in the group who listened to what I say, and she got a $75,000 car. That's cool. But it, it's a bigger picture than that. It's not about the damn car. It's not about just buying stuff. It's all about creating that passive income recreating and establishing that six figure seven figure income because you can sit back you gotta understand it's so many people in this world that you got they anybody would would love to work a job why you just don't be the type of person to say hey I, i'll let go from this i just want to be with like what them corporate people be doing downtown or those people who are in wall street you could just imagine what they be doing right but it's from a better perspective you know um it's always good to, to be different. It's always good to like have the knowledge and know like how to do certain things so you can put you and your family in better situations. 
nobody deserves to struggle, but if you allow yourself to struggle, you do deserve to struggle. <sighs> like I like like I told you guys about my um, my mother's situation, her and her fiance. He he deserved to struggle. He deserved to have everything happen to him in life. Cause everything is not perfect. But you can mess your mess your life up even worse by taking assets away, which Really, you think it's a liability, but you convert a liability into an asset. Like some people might say, buying a house is a liability. But for a person like me, I'm looking at the, the entrepreneurship aspect of it, right? But yeah, so we're going to have a Zoom class. We're going to talk about everything. We're going to break everything. I'm going to be on that mother three hours to everybody done. So if we're doing a DS-11 form, I'm waiting to everybody get theirs filled out. And so everybody have a full understanding. So you don't have to come back to me with a billion questions. Taquan, how do you do this? How do you do that? How do you do that? What do this mean? Everything is going to be explained throughout that whole session. And a session might go over three. It might be five hours. It's okay. Because I want you guys to get it. I really want you guys to get this whole thing. Even the EIN. I have way more questions from people about the EIN than the status change. Because, like I said, most of y'all are fascinated with the money. The aspect of it. Y'all, y'all want the money. Don't even lie. Y'all want the money. The money sound way more better. Getting hundreds of thousands. Who wants that? Everybody wants that, right? Nobody want to be free. So let's all agree. Money over freedom. That's what everybody been asking me for. That's what everybody want to pay for. Money, 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 money. I have so many, only a so few uh, consultations when, it, when dealing with the status change. Now so many more people want the EIN. I'm like, hmm. Yeah, you want the money, man. Just admit it. It's okay. Um, but it's not money, it's credit. Just so y'all know that it's, it's not money, it's credit. Um, yeah, we're going to set up these uh, Zooms and everybody, we're going to talk to everybody. If anybody listen, y'all going to do the same thing I did. I haven't done any damn thing special. I'm not Houdini who pulled out a hat and then something just came. I just got an EIN over. I created a personal credit profile for it. I established the credit on the EIN. I waited 90 days with my bank and I applied for auto loan. This is all the shit started from. This is where everything started from. But I ain't knew that I'm a, I ain't looked at it so strong where I know I can capitalize off of it 100%. The auto loan wasn't even the reason of my ambition to get this. It wasn't even the auto loan. It was, a, it, it was what I can do with the auto loan, what I can do with the cars, what I can do with the homes, what I can do with the equity line of credit. That's, what, that's the important thing because all the stuff, all the things that you look at, it has to be an entrepreneur aspect of it, an entrepreneur avenue. You can't look at shit just from a perspective of like, you know, like basic. You got to look at, damn, how can I benefit from this? How can I benefit? Like people looking at the EIN on how can I benefit from this? Well, if you get a million dollars in assets and you got and you using the EIN number to build your credit, right? And one day you fucked up the whole EIN and you filed bankruptcy on that number. And say if they gave you all the assets, say if the banks can't even redeem the shit no more, you just file bankruptcy, you claim to be broke. But that number got attacked, not you. The EIN is always, the, the social security number is always sacred. The EIN got attacked. So when you go back to your old life with your social security number, it look like you're a whole new person. And that's what it means when you when you disguising, you, you putting your EIN number up to catch all the, 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 the bait. Your EIN number is the bait. Now, it's going to catch all the fish for you. Now, if you lose the bait, you can get more bait. But no, the fisherman not supposed to jump out in this water himself because he's sacrificing himself. He's sacrificing his personal number. I personally don't give a damn about my social security number or my EIN number. But it's some people that do. Some people that do care about their social. So if you are the one that care about your social security number, protect it, separate it. All right, y'all, I'm out.